This is the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, keeping you informed about the happenings in Annapolis and the area. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and of course, local weather. The Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Tuesday, August 11th, 2020. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. The Annapolis Police Department is investigating a series of events that happened over the weekend that were really actually very violent. First one was on Saturday, August 8th in the early evening. An adult victim was sexually assaulted after she accepted a ride home while walking along Farragut Court, which is right near the Pitt Moyer Rec Center. The victim stated that while she was on Farragut Court, she was approached by a male suspect who offered her a ride home, and she accepted. The suspect later sexually assaulted the female in his vehicle. The Annapolis Police Department is actively looking for that suspect. On Saturday the 8th at 2.45 p.m., officers responded to a armed robbery that occurred 30 minutes earlier in the 1000 block of Wells Street in the city's Eastport section. A woman reported that she was in the area to sell a cell phone, and she was approached by a male subject who displayed a handgun and took the deactivated cell phone. He ran and she ran and called police when she got to her home in Crofton. This happened in the 1000 block of Wells Avenue. Police are investigating that and looking for a suspect. And the third incident was on Sunday, August 9th at 8.46 p.m. It was in the 700 block of Newtown Drive. There was a shooting. A female actually went to the Anne Arundel Medical Center on her own with a gunshot wound. It was non-life-threatening. She was released and interviewed by detectives. There is no suspect at this point, and the investigation is ongoing. If anybody has any information on any of those, please contact the Annapolis City Police Department. Late yesterday afternoon, the president of the University of Maryland, President Daryl J. Pines, said that in-person instruction at the University of Maryland College Park will be delayed for two weeks. He said this is because of the prevalence of COVID-19 in Maryland and specifically in Prince George's County. It is higher than the university had hoped, and the semester will actually begin online on August 31st as scheduled, but any undergraduate instruction in person will be delayed until September 14th. And speaking of University of Maryland, they are part of the Big Ten Conference as far as football goes, and we are hearing that they have made the decision to cancel fall sports, them along with the Pac-12. Both should have an announcement a little bit later on today, and that leaves the SEC, the ACC, and the Big 12 to figure it out. I think we are seeing the football season, including Navy's, slowly fall apart before our eyes. And speaking of the Navy, Vice Admiral Sean Buck, who is the superintendent of the Naval Academy, said that he is postponing indefinitely the class of 2022's second class parents weekend, which was scheduled for September 11th through the 13th. In a letter sent to the class of 2022 parents and families, he did say, We look forward to having you visit Annapolis and the Naval Academy in the future when the environment and conditions permit. Now, this one's an important one. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan now has approved recommendations by the state elections board to reduce the number of polling places to accommodate a shortage of poll workers during the upcoming election. There will be 282 high schools statewide that will serve as regional polling locations. Now, this is opposed to 1,800 that we typically have during an election. So if you're looking to vote in person, you need to plan to drive or somehow get yourself further than you normally would. And you also ought to be prepared for potential lines. Safest way out of that, elections.maryland.gov. Request a mail-in ballot. They will send you a ballot in the mail. All you need to do is fill it out, stamp it, and return it. In order to get the ballot, just go to elections.maryland.gov, and you want to go on to the request a mail-in ballot. Also, you should be getting a request for a mail-in ballot in the mail toward the end of this month. If you haven't requested it online, fill out that ballot request, mail it back to the Board of Elections, and they will send you the ballot. Let's keep everybody safe here in Maryland. If you can, vote by mail. If you must go to a poll, just be prepared. And finally, as we wrap it up, I just want to remind everybody that it is August 9th through the 15th. It is that week. What's that week? That week is Maryland Tax-Free Week. You can go out and purchase anything, clothing or footwear, that's priced $100 or less and save the 6% sales tax. Also, the first $40 of any backpack purchase is also tax-free. If you are attending a Maryland University College or Trade School, there are a couple scholarships up for grabs. There's a $1,000 one and a $500 one from the Maryland Retailers Association. 
What you need to do is just to go online and say how you helped a Maryland business keep the lights on during the COVID-19 pandemic. Could be something as simple as I shopped till I drop, or you could have volunteered or helped them out with their web content, recommended them to friends, whatever. Submit your entry to shopmdtaxfree at marylandtaxes.gov, or you can go to any of their social media pages, which is Shop Maryland Tax Free on Facebook or Shop MD Tax Free on both Twitter and Instagram. And if you happen to be a student at any of the University System of Maryland schools, Stevenson University or Hood College or MICA, which is the Maryland Institute for College of Art, they have all agreed to match that scholarship with another $1,000 scholarship. So there might be a $2,000 scholarship in your future. All right, that does wrap it up for us today. Please make sure you're checking out ionanapolis.net because we're going to update these stories and more throughout the day. If you are someplace you can leave us a rating or a review, please do that. Let your friends and family and colleagues know how to get a hold of us, how to subscribe to us. And other than that, you need to hang tight. We've got George Young with your local DMV weather forecast. He's coming up in just one minute. But first, here's Rick Peters from Solar Energy Services. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years, and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. Going out? You need the most up-to-date local weather. Here's George Young from DMV Weather in Annapolis with today's forecast. Hey, everyone, this is George with DMV Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Tuesday, August 11th. Yesterday was a hot one, as expected, with tons of sunshine and temps upper 80s to mid 90s across Anne Arundel County. And today will be a virtual repeat with a slight chance of PM storms across the region. From there, more temps in the 87 to 95 degree range Wednesday and Thursday, with showers and storms likely for many across the region each day with another elevated threat of rain Friday, with temps expected to be in the 80s for highs. As for the weekend, skies will likely remain unsettled, with temps 84 to 90 for highs each day, along with an ongoing chance of showers and storms both Saturday and Sunday. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DMV Weather. Make it a great day out there. Stay healthy and be safe, and be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching DC MDVA Weather in the Apple or Google App Store. And also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and use our website each day at dmvweather.com so you can always stay weather-informed. Hi, this is Kevin Canale. Michael Sanderson. The host of the Maryland Association of Counties official podcast, The Conduit Street Podcast. We like to talk Maryland policy and Maryland politics. That's what we're all about. Why counties? Well, look at the stuff we do. Education, public safety, environment, taxes, all the areas that people care about. Counties care about that, too. So our our podcast is for counties, but it's also for anyone out there who's interested in talking about public policy. Absolutely. We did a whole episode on Uber and Airbnb and new disruptive technologies. Right. Uh, We've been covering school funding debate probably in more depth than anybody else out there. We've talked about President Trump's tax reform, uh, redistricting lawsuits, cleaning up the Chesapeake Bay, all that kind of stuff. It's part of our beat. Why do we call it Conduit Street? Well, That's where we are. That's who we are. You Annapolitans on this podcast, you know it is that street right over there by Chicken Roofs. Now, that's an Annapolis institution. We want to be, too. That's our headquarters, and it's sort of our brand. You can listen to the Conduit Street podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Catch us on Fridays and get a roundup of policy and politics from right here in Annapolis and around Maryland. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis. And also tell them about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. This podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 7 a.m., keeping you informed with the Ion Annapolis Daily News Brief.
And take a moment to listen to our other podcast, The Maryland Crabs, released every Thursday at noon.